Alrighty guys, how's it going? My name is Dominic and for you guys today, bringing you our war win number 189 here. And this one was against PP Rise 2 Elite. And of course we won it 59 to 47 here. They did, well we both used the same attacks here and yep, so let's just go through some of the beast attacks in this episode. And first off here, as you may have seen in my live attacks video if you watched that, first attack here we have a, R number 5 Town or 10 Jan here attacking their number 4. Who's a pretty maxed out Town or 10 except for Archer Towers, Wiz Towers and Cannons and Mortars. And a few more things, so I was completely wrong there on saying these are maxed out Town Hall 10, but still, you saw this was a 3 star, three star attack, and this was on their number. Oh, let's just turn the volume down. And this was on their number 4 right here. So, as you can see, he used 4 Earthquakes here. Right, beautifully placed. It took out those tools. I wouldn't, I didn't expect it to take out those tools, but it did it there. And out in the Clan Cockle comes 1 Dragon and 3 Balloons here. Puts a poison on them and his archer queen is nicely protected by the golem. Same with the barbarian king, he's not being shot at, so that's brilliant. First free spell went down, don't know too much about that free spell placement or like timing on that free spell, but anyways, he knows what he was doing here. That one inferno tower was on single, so that may have given him a little bit of an advantage here, as, as you can see, the inferno tower. He's only focusing on the golems and not the archer queen, and the archer queen is able to destroy all those defenses in the middle at no cost of damage here. And again, as you can see, golem on the left by one wizard, that's about to pop. Two golems on the right, by surrounded by about three wizards there, and then one golem down the middle, surrounded by the archer queen behind him. And that is just brilliant here, as you can see. And maybe that wizard's going to get out of range for that. No, it's still in range. Maybe the mortar's now going to shoot at it, but... That is there, and there you have it almost. Brilliant, two golems left standing, and only three defense, four defenses that can actually cause harm to the troops here, which is a cannon, archer tower, cannon, and wizard tower there. Not, uh, okay, another one, another one at the bottom, but still, you have your queen full health, and she's got her ability still. So, as you can see, finally something shooting at that queen, the wizard tower, but that's not going to do too much damage. And by the, by the time she gets to low health, the wizard tower's already. She still isn't even low health, so again, oh wow, that giant bomb almost got her dead there. But all you have left, one defense left, the Hydra Queen takes it down, and that, you guys, is a brilliant 3 star attack from Jack. And going into another attack, we're going to bring in maybe some Town Hall 9 attacks here, not of Town Hall 10s. I've shown them too much as well, let's have a look. Sis, maybe, yeah, let's have a look at Sis here, our number 17 attacking their number 15. He's coming with the Gohog attack strategy, and this is the one, this is the base I did fail on when I did do it, so sad, sadness to me for failing this with my Gola, getting a 1 star here, but he cleans this up for me, and he's coming in with the Gohog, which is what I should have used, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit and try something different here, but anyways, as you can see, two Golems, he doesn't lure out the Clan Castle or anything, he goes straight in with one Rage Spell, Queen level 15, and Queen there. King level 15, Queen level 14, the same as mine here, and yeah, it's looking great. The King isn't getting too much damage here from the Dragon, because the Dragon's focusing on that Golem there. Queen nicely takes down the Dragon, still full health. Enemy Queen is already down, and that's when you know you can start the holes. He did trigger those two giant bombs there at the beginning, I did maybe miss that out, so sorry. But two giant bombs there he did trigger, so that was great. Other two giant bombs here were triggered by the Golems when he started off a raid. And at the moment is looking absolutely brilliant here. So, so many hogs left over. The last heal spell does go down up there. Poison spell used on the skeletons, so the skeletons are just gone. And that's n well, I think that's all the skeletons gone. Maybe some might pop out later, but at the moment there's no skeleton on the hogs, and that's a brilliant advantage once all the defenses go down, so they don't have to bother shooting at those or hitting the skeleton traps and as you can see the barbarian king is still standing and that's when you know you've done a brilliant job in your attack when in a gohog when your king is still standing throughout the rest of throughout till the end of a raid i know all he's doing now is just shooting out walls which is kind of pointless all of all three of them in the middle are but the king is now just going to be bashing out walls but <laughs> when you know he, when he stands till the end of a raid that's when you know your raid was beast and that's what sis 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 this is Sis's raid was right there. Sorry, that was a little that was, that was weird pronouncing. But again, a three star attack, much better than my attack on that base, and brings home an extra two stars from that base. And another one we'll have a look at. Look at here. 
Might look up look at a clean up attack from Mr. B here on the number 18. Haven't seen the troop combination yet. Oh, he's coming in with a very interesting a go wee hog. No, go wee wee go wee wee hog. Oh, this is that. This is something I might have a little try at actually. This looks pretty beast here. So it's not safe here by spreading out two guns. This is your kind of star shaped base. It's kind of it's a very weak base layout. But if I look at this base, I'd be doing go hog, and I bet you I'd mess up there somehow because head defenses are like across each other from a base so anyway he comes down here the golems dragon and balloon are distracted by the golem there he only carry he's only carrying two heal spells there one jump and one rage for the clan castle troops but once that is take dragon taken down then he places down that jump spell in brilliant position shows that the golems can come to the center take out a few defenses both golems go to the center and the witches are brilliantly guarded there and not taking any damage and now he's going to start doing a little bit of a surgical hog here a few hogs on the, well, on the defense okay maybe not uh, first shine bomb goes down i think he's going to be quick on the heal spell there very lucky i think i think that was very lucky if it was another wizard tower there i think all those hogs would have been gone so maybe next time just pay a bit more attention there on the hogs and get the heal spell ready to put down but anyways it's still looking good i think there's one more giant bomb right here maybe not okay sorry but one more heal spell still and if a hog rider can come to the center he can sort of blend in the heal spell with no troops because that was a stupid idea right there god dominic and anyway, so one minute of a replay left. The last giant bomb is down, and that is a bit of a dangerous situation. Hogs are almost dying. One more giant bomb. Oh, very lucky there. Very, very lucky. That could have been a bit of a pain, as not many troops would have been left over. God, the king is bashing at the walls over here. I guess that's a good idea, because if he went towards a builder hut, time may have been a concern, but maybe not, actually. It's a brilliant raid. As you can see though, Builder Huts are in one corner and the other corner, but I'm assuming he had lots of time because he did 3 star it, but obviously you have a Queen and the Hog Riders, the Hog Riders luckily are fast and can just jump over the walls and end it. I just want to see that replay one more time just to check how many, how much time he had, yeah he had plenty of time left in that attack, so that was a brilliant attack there. And maybe I'm just going to bring you one more, one more replay here and, hmm, now, Hmm. Hum, 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 Ah, forget it. We're just going to go down to here. Number 22 attacking number 22. This is one of our Town Hall 8.5s here, but yeah, it's, it's still a nice clean-up attack. Gosh, guys, you need to start free-storing Town Hall 9s more because I want, I'm running out of raids here. <laughs> anyway, so it starts off here. He is doing the Gohog attack go hog attack strategy on a town away so this might be really interesting as you can see he has got four spells so he puts one jump spell to the middle and already you can see look how beast this raid is this is actually quite a good example when you're trying to clean town or eights look at that the whole top section is already gone and all and all, his hog riders are all down i think the giant bombs yes they are there and luckily luckily there wasn't a double giant bomb there and yep yeah, <laughs> very great attack here well done mob i know he want he likes being in my replay so there you have it mob, you're in one of the attacks. You're in one of the war recaps. Maybe get it in your first account, which is a bit harder. And you could be more proud of that, attacking a, your own town or level. But anyway, this was a great attack here. Great cleanup attack. Just speed it up because don't want to make this video too long here. But anyway, so yep, yeah, free star here. Plenty of troops left over. The king is still standing, so that was great. And yeah, so we won this war 59 to 47 here. We did average more stars per attack. They had the same amount of stars as attacks. That's kind of cool. But anyways, getting into our most current war. If we win this, it'll be almost it'll be our 190th win here. Ten hours remaining of this war. So yeah, let's just see how it goes. In and you'll see that in my next war recap video. But anyway, guys, that's it from me. And bye bye.